Hi, in this video, we're going to look at a new Cilium feature that comes in Cilium 140, which is called um, Envoy as a daemon set. So we've been using Envoy with Cilium for quite a few years. If you go as far back as 2018, you'll find presentations from Thomas talking about you know, using Envoy with Cilium. Um, and Envoy has typically been used with Cilium to do things that we can't do in eBPF yet, which is like layer seven processing. So, you know, for example, uh, we use Envoy with Cilium when we need um, to use Cilium Ingress or Cilium Gateway API. We use Envoy when we need to do layer seven visibility uh, of, um, you know, like HTTP traffic or we use Envoy for layer seven network policies. Uh, again, you know, based on Kafka, gRPC, or HTTP path or method. Um, so all those things that, again, Envoy is great at, so great proxy, um, been used commonly with service meshes for, for, for quite a few years now. And uh, so it's been working very well. And when we need this capability, we automatically deploy uh, an Envoy uh, proxy within the Cilium agent. The only drawback of this is that they, because they are together, they share the same life cycle, right? So if you had to patch Envoy, you have to, you know, that would impact the Cilium agent. And likewise, if you need to restart the Cilium agent, um, you know, you would, uh, that would impact Envoy within uh, your Cilium, um, uh, Cilium agent. So, Really, the idea of you know in of deploying Envoy as a daemon set is that they don't have the same life cycle, which means that if you restart the CDM agent, you don't impact Envoy, or if you need to patch Envoy for a vulnerability, again that won't impact Cilium itself. And also another benefit is that uh, it will bring is that they don't um, you can enforce different resource limits, right, on the CPU or memory on Cilium and Envoy. Um, also, because if you put them in different daemon sets, um, then you're able to access the logs and you don't have a mix of logs like you will see in the demo shortly where all your Cilium logs and Envoy logs are all kind of mixed all together. Um, so there are a number of you know, small benefits, but um, it was worth uh, you know, starting this new model of Envoy as a daemon set, which uh, might become the default one in the future. So let's have a look at the demo. First, we'll look at an environment with uh, Cilium, you know, 112 or 113, and see what happens when, you know, we get layer seven network policy. And then we'll look at uh, a 114 uh, installation. So in this environment, I'm running Cilium 1.12. And if you look at Cilium status, it's probably something you've seen before. You see Cilium has been deployed, it's okay. And let's have a quick look at um, the daemon sets. Uh, there's QProxy and there's a Cilium one. That just all there is. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've deployed um, a layer seven network policy, right? So network policies are, you know, we're using labels to determine to which workloads this policy is going to apply to, but also we use things like layer four information, TCP, TCP you know, protocol and, and ports. And finally, we're using layer seven, and that's when we need uh, Envoy. So we are filtering based on a, a specific HTTP method and HTTP path. Now, um, if I look at the logs of the Cilium agents, I can see that uh, um, when I deploy the network policy and traffic hit that network policy, Envoy was started. Right? So you can see uh, proxy started. Um, and you can see, all that, like I said before, like all the logs are mixed up. You get the Cilium logs and also the Envoy logs all uh, you know, in the same stream. Um, so let's have a look now at uh, Cilium 140. So 
we're going to deploy Celium with version 1.114.0, redis can get zero, which is uh, early version of 114. And we're just going to enable that envoy flag. And it takes about a minute for uh, the daemon sets to be ready. Um, it never takes very long to install Celium. But what uh, you can first see, uh, and I'm, I'm actually using a newer version of the Celium CLI. I'm using 0.15.2. Um, and I'm also using, as you can see, that now I'm running 1.14.0. If uh, we do a Celium status, you can see that oh, it's already up and running. Now we now have this option, this this line saying Envoy daemon set, um, which is you know, Envoy has been deployed as a daemon set, saying it's okay. Um, and let's have a quick look at um, here we go. So now you can see I've got Cilium Envoy daemon set, which has three uh, Envoy proxies and then the Cilium agent daemon set. Uh, and obviously, because we have three nodes, um, we, as it's a daemon set, we need one uh, envoy and one Cilium agent per node. So, you know, that's all there is to it, really. It's just a, a new feature that will provide a number of benefits. Again, if we recap, um, it don't have the same life cycle. So, you know, restarting the Cilium agent won't affect envoy. Um, you know, patching envoy won't affect Cilium. Uh, you separate the logs and you can apply different resource limits to uh, Envoy and Selium. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.